And if you're wondering why I so like planetary gears, um, here's one. This is from the transmission of a car. It's really cool. It's the helical style gear. And then here we have um, four planets. And uh, look, this is like the inside. So let's let's make a parallel here. This one is like the center gear here, right there. These four outer gears are like the three planets that we have here. And this here rim is like the ring here. So um, great. So this is pretty fun to have this uh, real planetary gear system. And uh, I can never get it back in. There we go. And I wanted to have a 3D printed planetary gear system. Let's put this in. There, perfect. And it's lovely. You turn, and there's all kinds of motion going on. And you can turn this. And I'm sure you can just turn the outer one and keep the inner shaft um, still. So I think uh, just depending upon where, what um, you're trying to get to move, um, there's a whole lot of possible motions. And here is the one I made yesterday. This way too complicated for a first print. Okay, I'm working on my printer again, the printer again, and I just want to show you I'm going to manual control. I'm going to try to do the z-axis um, calibration. I guess that's what you'd call it. Oh, so it's disconnected. So to connect, I go to connect. And I say connect printer. Now it says idle. That's good. So then I do, okay, go up one millimeter. And you can't tell if it's going up. Oh, you can see these turning. That's good. So that's how you know. Okay. So that went. And then let's do home. Z home. It's going to come down. And then it should do this little... Um, it's turning, turning, turning. It so brings it down to home position. And these motors, I guess, are controlling that. These motors down here. Okay, so it's there. Now I have to get a piece of paper. Okay, my piece of paper is not easily sliding, so that tells me it's too tight. I'm going to go loosen the screw, which is kind of funny because it was too loose last time. Mm -hmm. Righty, tighty, lefty, loosey. Okay. I'm not going to have a Hmm. Okay, let's go on. Okay, I'm going to do that again. I'm not comfortable about what I'm seeing, so. Just turning all the way out. And then now I'm going to do home. I did a reset. I want to see it go down and then it lift up. Okay, so that was perfect. Okay. Now, I guess it maybe it's okay, it's just my paper's too thick. Because it's supposed to slide under, but it's not sliding under. So what do I do with that then? Okay, I'm a little confused and considering this uh, level. I cannot, well, I can occasionally get the paper under this very thin paper. And it goes under over here. See that? It does go under. And then over here, when I did the, um, you know, go down and stop, it landed here, it bumped up, and I can't get this paper under, so I'm just going to consider it ready to go because I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't um, too far away from any one point that it wouldn't um, uh, wouldn't stick the extruded uh, plastic wouldn't stick to the platen because that's what caused the problem last time so trying it again so now I've loaded this um, file that I downloaded simple planetary gears with solid base I picked this because it looks small enough and it has multiple small prints because um, <coughs> I really just want to um, be able to set something off, let it go, finish it up, 
in a few hours and then head off someplace and do the other part someplace else because, um, you know, the last part took five hours and that was a long time. So I'm going to do um, sun, the sun gear. So I've selected it. Now at this point, I'm going to slice it. And it's basically, I click the slicer tab and I've opened it in Repetier Host, by the way. I'm going to do slice with slicer. And then it's saying doing it. And I do not want to start the job after the slicer because I do want to um, check the temperature setting and see that it work, it's the right setting for black PLA, which is what I have. It knows where to place each layer. So it's going to lay down layer by layer and the slicer um, makes, enables that. Okay, and then now I am going to look to see the temperature setting I need to have because I think that was an issue last time. So I have downloaded these files um, in a folder called, a zip folder called Bukabot Profiles that um, was on the site somewhere and there's a black PLA um, configuration which is what I was looking for and it looks like the setting, the temperature setting is 182 degrees. So that's what I'm going to set here in Repertier Host. So let's see where I do that temperature setting. Um, printer settings here. And then temperature 185 I have here. Default is 185. They said 182. Okay, so I'm going to put 182. Apply. Printer shape. Okay. Okay. Alright. So now I just say run job. That's what I'm going to do. Run the job. Now it's heating the uh, bed. The time is 10:49. It's heating the um, not the bed, the um, the nozzle. To it. This takes a little while, so I'll just set the time and I'll stop. 10:49. .40, so it's 10:54 and it just started printing. And now we're getting a nice um, bed being laid down. The wrap. So that only took a few um, minutes to print, so that was really good. Here's the product. It's a very tiny um, a screw with a uh, head that's a gear. And so now we're going to do planets. So now I just went ahead and hit the start job after slicing, and it's, the time is 11.44 right now. Um, this is the... Um, the planets. This is the sun. So it's 11.46. Okay, 11.51 and it's uh, getting ready to print the planet. Okay, 12.33 and it's looking great. Um, coming along pretty well and I think it's almost done. But then again, that's me. Looks like it's putting on the top layer now. Now these, when I tried to take it off before, I had to use a little um, knife because it was pretty hard to get off. Okay, it's coming. It's putting the top on. This is kind of 
funny because they're at the point where they're doing the screws now. The um, screw pipe. That's going by. Twelve fifty, I looked away and it's done. So we started the connectors for the planetary gears and it's it was about three thirty four when we started. Three forty five now. Three forty nine and it's done. Okay, so now um, estimated time is 51 minutes and 29 seconds. Okay, the time is 421. 4.42. 5.06. So I just want to point out this is the fit that I'm getting off of the print for the um, planetary gears. And um, these fit nicely together, that fits, but they're just not fitting in the... Um, in the mold. I was thinking about taking a pair of pliers and just kind of working my way in to just shove it in as hard as I could get, but I just don't know if it would turn then, so it might be a moot point.